and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Miami Marlins. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chum. Singy, it might be a launch angle home run heavy sport these days, but we've got one of the very best back to ball contact hitters feature right here today. Dude, I love the fact that he never gets too big with his swing and flies open, tries to launch the ball. He stays very compact. He's looking at getting the barrel to the baseball, doesn't care which part of the ballpark that he hits it to. And I don't care if it's a lefty or a righty out there on the mound. He looks extremely comfortable from either side. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Ready to go now. On the hill here today, Trevor Rogers. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. So just about set now. And now Gene Segura. Leading off the afternoon for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Gene Segura. The pitch. Yeah, a foul ball. First pitch, 110. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. It can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The pitch. That's off the mark. Now one and two. I got to count one and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Aguilar takes it himself. And a couple of quick outs. As we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies. The sluggers of this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting the line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. No score just getting started, top of the first. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Base hit. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in that the gap good. and give the that Phillies the lead. Bryce Harper. Here's Harper now. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Next offering is in for a strike. Right 
to first, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Bottom of the first, John Birdie at the plate. Leading off for the Marlins, the second baseman, John Birdie. The wind of the pitch. This is off the inside, and it's 1-0. To third. Brian handles. One gone, bottom half of the first. As we take a look at Don Mattingly's lineup for the Marlins, they're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. Cool. Well, a swing like that can base. help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers I'll coming into lost. the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. That misses. A ball one strike. Gaffelin to move to first. Wendell dives back in. Wendell leads off first with one away. Another throw over. He's good. And he's back in that time as well. Again to first. And again, he's back safely. And the righty deals. Close, but called a ball. Ball two. Grounder might be two. Story toss the second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. No score. here at the ballpark but now here is Harper. I mean these guys know they have to get going right. out of the gates but right. you're not going to hear a skipper or you're not going to hear people really say that. Because this game's hard enough, and you know you try to minimize the pressure that you put on yourself or that you take in from outside. So, you know, sticking to the plan, the process every day, coming in, doing your work, uh, making the adjustments you need to make, and just focusing on the task at hand that day. And the one fouled off. He was late. pitch that's a ball one there and now it's even up the pitch stays alive Next one full just down. misses. Three, and a full count now. 
Right side. Aguilar picks it up. Tosses to the oh. pitcher covering the bag. Harper retired. That is good. The right field number four. Nick Castellanos. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence in seeing some pitches in that at bat. One down, base is empty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a double. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. to the left side, but it is well fouled. And a 1-1. Check swing, no appeal. 2-1. and one. one out, and a runner at second. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball three. Three one is on the way. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in there. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here with six hits in the series coming into this one. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. Foul ball. Ripped on a line. And that gets down into the gap. Here comes the runner. He'll score easily. It's 2-0. And in its second with an RBI double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. 
Still only one out here in the inning. That one hammered left field way back there and brings it in at the wall. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. Pulls it in on the warning track. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Phillies two and the Marlins nothing. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. The left fielder. Oh, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 0-1. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting fit. The designated hitter, Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson digs in now. Four for 13 in the series entering this one. Bounced up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Batting six, the right fielder. And yeah. now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Cooper. That one's in there on one. Righty delivers. I got one ball, one strike. Anderson, the base runner at first with one out. On the ground. Fires over to Hoskins. Now two out. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And up next for Miami, Jacob Stallings. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh one. Oh it's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win, every manager's dream. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Bounce to third. And he beats it, he's safe. That it. That's what stop. Miguel Rojas hit the plate. Three for 11 in the series coming in. And the first offering is not close. Bounce to the right. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that is that. Marlins strand a pair, and they're down 2-0. here at Lone Depot Park. And the batter now, Gene Segura. Leading off for the Phillies, the second baseman, Gene Segura. 
The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In for a strike, going to walk. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. The 0 1. And fouled off. The 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now the lefty. That misses the zone. Going to count one and two. Next one is off the plate. The count now two and two. Rips one to right. And there's one down. Now that designated hitter, Alec Bowen. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. He's 0 for 1. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next pitch is outside. The 1 1 is upstairs and a count 2 and 1. Fly ball down the line. Cooper reaching back towards the wall. Puts it away for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Brandon. Two outs, Jordan. base is empty. And stepping in is the speedy Brandon Jordan. In there for strike one. The why to kick the pitch. One ball, one strike. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. And it's even up. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. And he deals. Pitches in the dirt. Full count three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And now here is Monte Harrison. Monte Harrison. Eflin back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Next pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's inside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. There's a strike, three and one. That one down the line, and that's just foul. And a pitch. And there's ball four. Thank you, 
Digging in, John Birdie grounded out his first time. Well, they kept it pretty quiet in the series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. First pitch just misses. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And a pitch. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Out to center. Jordan under it. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now batting third baseman, Joey. Wendell. Here's Joey Wendell. Eflin a move to first, oh, he's and he's back safely. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. And it is two and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Left hand hitter waits. That's out to center field. Jordan under it. Calls it in, two away. The batter, the first baseman, Pedro Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Right, and here it comes. And it's one and one. That's down and in. Harrison off of first with two away. Eflin checks the runner and he dives back in safely. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Righty to the plate. That one the other way. Segura sends it to first. And the inning is over. One left for Miami. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and Leading set to lead off the, off the fourth, Bryce the Harper. Number three, Bryce Harper. The pitch. And a base hit into right center field. Now batting, the right fielder, Nick. Next to hit, Nick Castellanos doubled his first time up. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Two balls, no strikes to count. 2 0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. Check on the runner, and he's back in standing. The pitch. Yeah, there's the strike. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. 2 1. Now. Swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Looking down on strikes, and he knew it. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. First, Harper's back in a dive. First nope. offering misses the mark. And the 1 0. That one missing inside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Nope. Next pitch is inside, and now 3-0. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. See if he gives him anything to hit here. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really yeah, close pitches, Good. and somehow, Good. Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Comes up empty with a swing there. Batting here with one away. Yo one. And that's down it away. Runner, the pitch. Runner, going. Double steal. Squirts away a little bit. No throw. Double steal. They're both safe. One down. Rudders at second and third. And that one almost got him. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. And there are two outs. 
Code gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. Hoskins takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Two on, two outs. Now one and one. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And it's fouled away. Pitch misses there. And the count is even two and two. Second and third, two down. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. And now the lefty rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Phillies two and the Marlins nothing. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Leading off for the Marlins. The left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The right-hander back to work. Strike one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And the pitch. On the ground to third. Bryant throw to first in time. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Anderson. And next is the designated hitter, Brian Anderson. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. The 1-0. Up the middle, that's a hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now it's the right fielder, Garrett Cooper. First offering, and it just misses. There's a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. Strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And a base hit into right. Castellanos whips it back in. 
And that forces the runner to hold on at third. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you get at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Jacob Stallings down. That one drilled left field. Play at the plate, not in time, he's safe. And they trail by one. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. In the air right side. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself. That's out number three. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We played four. It's the Phillies two and the Marlins one. Back here in Miami, all set for the start of the inning. And now for the Phillies, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. Rogers back to work. That one inside. And that's ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Zach Poff getting ready to go. Bass warming up as well. Two oh. Pitch misses, three balls, no strikes. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. There's a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field, Harrison moving under this one. Squeezes it, and there's one away. The batter number two, second baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Good contact guy, good defender. Nope. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. There's the strike. Here comes a pitch. Softly hit to third. And he picks it up in foul territory. And a pitch. Line drive. And makes the grab. And there's two down. Now batting. The designated hitter. Alec Bohm. And now it's Alec Bohm. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Oh. Next offering upstairs. 1 and 1. Pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. Oh. 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Banks off the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where now we see the OPS the jump up. Manager Brandon. might have to go to the bullpen sure, yeah. a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. In there for strike one. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball one. Boom, stands at second with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball in two strikes. And a ball evens the count. And it's second. Swing and a miss. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. You can sell it like a fastball. You drop the velocity. You get the swing and miss. And you walk off the field. Back here at Lone Depot Park. This is Monte Harrison. Just good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That's in there. It's 0-1. Next offering upstairs. pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two and the righty deals swing and a miss and he struck him out and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth very frustrating right there as a speedy no matter, potential five, base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time back to the top of the lineup and now for the Marlins John Birdie And that's in there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Right-hander kicks deals. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. Close play against the speedy runner. Now batting. Third base. So up next, Joey Wendell. First pitch, just misses. Next pitch misses, 2 and 0. Oh. Two balls. No strike. Next right offering there. is downstairs. Two outs. That's in for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins.
First pitch, and he just misses. Eflin a move to first. Wendell dives back in. And the 1-0. That one missed. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That one ripped, but foul. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one's back there. And it's gone. A shot to left. And they jump out front. It's 3-2. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Now batting, left fielder, Jesus. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. And yeah, now the 1 Swing and a ball lifted left field. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a blue hit behind third right there. And it's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Man at second here with two away. Now it's going to be Brian Anderson. Number Good power. Not great in the OBP Brian. department. Nope. Next offering is down low. 1 and 0. Oh. And the right hander deals. Ball two. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0. And there's a strike. Two Bullpen activity strike. starting up now. Connor Brogdon up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Coonrod getting cranked up as well. And on second, two down. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Sanchez at second with two down. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Runner around third. Throw home, not in time to run scores. And they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up at RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. Now back, right fielder, Garrett. Next Cooper. pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one moves his feet. And a pitch. 
Foul ball there. The 2 2. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to Segura. That ends the frame. We're through five. It's the Marlins four and the Phillies two. New pitcher now, Zach Pop. And he'll work on holding this lead. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle yeah. innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The left field of the three. Bryce Harper. And here it comes. Harper takes a strike as he leads things off. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Smash towards center. Harper retired. And there's one down. It was all over that fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by four. a fraction of an inch yeah. or a little bit more, Castellanos. that's way back. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Foul ball. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Offering misses, and it's two and one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now Here's Trevor Story now. The shortstop. He's someone that you Trevor. might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Fouled off down the right side. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And story is up. And that is that. 7, 8, 9, 2 up in the home half of the inning. It's the Marlins 4 and the Phillies 2. Out of the gentlemen, bullpen for the Phillies, Connor Brogdon. Now and his job is to collect Phillies. quick outs and Number keep his team within striking distance. Connor Brogdon. Well, we go bottom six, and here's the catcher, Jacob Stone. This guy, one of the, the best catcher. defensive catchers Jacob. going. You talk about framing, Go the ability right. to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And he deals. There's the strike. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop castellanos turns and moving to his left
Next pitch inside. One and two to count. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Next offering is foul back. That hits the dirt. Full count now. The pitch. That one fouled off. Oh, that got him on the mound. And he takes it himself for the out. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. Three for 13 so far in the series. First offering misses badly for ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Yoan Lopez up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Coonrod, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. The 1 0. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Another ball still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches they got him working hard out there the pitch chop to the left side and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket that fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Comes a 2 2. Stays alive. The 2 2. In the air, left field. Harper settles underneath it. And there's two down. The center fielder, number three, Monte. Monte Harris, the next up for the Marlins. Shot is so ill, shot is so loud. We have book six to about five foot nine. Swag is so mean, she can't tell. Take a thing up and try. First offering, and it just misses. At the belt and fires. Just missed. Ball Off three. the mark there. And it's 3 0. Oh. Three ball, no strike. And the pitch. That's in there. Down at three and one. Kicks and deals. That's a laser base hit. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he number, got into an advantage five. count. Nice job Second of driving base, that pitch the other Shot. way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Brogdon, keeping him close. And here is John Birdie. First pitch, not close. Harrison off of first with two away. Pickoff throw. Harrison back on a dive. And the pitch. That's down and in. Two and now three oh, and O. Let's get something started here. The pitch. Aye. And that's in for a strike. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Back-to-back -back singles. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not oh, much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And at the plate for Miami, Joey Wendell. And first offering is fouled off. is in for a strike. one misses and a count one and two two outs a couple of base runners at first and second and a swing and a miss third out and that ends the frame Marlins strand a pair but they still lead this one four to two Here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven, down the third baseman, Chris Deep Bryant. Philadelphia, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. And a pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 yep. now. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Kicks and fires. Wouldn't chase that time. And now one away. 
A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. In the air to left center, Sanchez should have this one. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting, catcher, JT. Real two Muto. outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, JT Real Muto. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So... When you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Popped up. Birdie moving under it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Phillies down in order. Still down by a count of four to two. A new pitcher in the game, Sam Kunra, hasn't pitched in the last three days. Sam Kunra. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now here is Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time. He's safe. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Now batting, left fielder. That one's in there, 0-1. Sanchez. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way. Gone. A two-run homer, his second of the year, it's 6-2. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding, who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. How is that fastball out of here? Now, Ryan Anderson. The batter, number 15. In there for strike one. Oh, yeah. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and the count is one and one. And yeah, the righty deals. And down on strikes he goes, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. And now it's now Garrett back. Cooper up right to him. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Liner snagged it first. Up next to the corner. The catcher. Jacob. Stallings. Jacob Stallings down. 
This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And the first Down offering is not close. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier yep. position. And that's what he does. Next pitch has popped up. Bryant drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Now a 6-2 ball game. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Anthony Bass. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Anthony Bass. Welcome back. We go to the eighth and digging in for Philadelphia. Gene Segura. The second base. Gene Segura. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. Bounce to the right side. Birdie picks it up. Over to first. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front. Rolled over on it. Now exactly what he was supposed to do. Alec Bohm. And now it's Alec Bohm. First offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 2. And now 1 and 2. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. The punch out there. Two down. And now the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down because of that speed and the ability to make up so much crown. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They still trail it here. It's 6-2. to two. Yoan Lopez your gets the call please. from the pen. Now He's been so good against Delphi. lefties. Number 50, Yoan Lopez. Back here in Miami, out of the bottom of the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The shortstop, Miguel Rojas. And he deals. And ball one. And the right-hander deals. And that's outside. Oh. 
That one missed, now 3 and 0. Oh. In for a strike, now three and one. And now a full count. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Bounced up the middle, and it's two for a hit. The center fielder, number three. This is Monte Harrison. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez up and throwing. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. That kept one and two. Oh. Next one just misses. And that's ball two. Two and two. Helpful. Pulls that one foul. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. No batter, but that time, a little anxious. Second baseman, John Birdie. John Birdie at the plate. And he's already singled in this game. Next no offering is down low. And it's 1-0. Rojas over at first with one away. That's towards center. Jordan on the move. Tracks it down for the out. Out number two. Now batting third baseman. Joey. Wendell. So a lefty out of the pen, Bailey Falter. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Then at first, and up next for Miami, Joey Wendell. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The lefty, the 1 0. Just missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And that chance handled to first. Out number three. Marlins lead one. They lead it six to two.
Lewis head on the pitch here, trying to protect this lead. Back here at Low Depot Park, we go to the ninth. Here's Bryce Harper. Leading off for the Phillies, the left fielder, number three. The wide Bryce and kick the pitch. Harper. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Nicholas right Castellanos. Here. One for three. Castellanos. And that's in there for strike one. One is lifted in the air and a base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with now the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm Trevor. sure he's feeling some relief. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. Here's Trevor Story. First offering misses the mark. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. That one not close. And it's two and two. Two two now, and a foul ball. He stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And here it comes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Man at first. Here's the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. The belt and fires. Hard hit, right side. Slides, but it gets by him. Making some noise here, trying to give themselves a chance. Yeah, Just yeah. a simple ground ball the, the other way. They had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, or let the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So they turn to their closer, Dylan Floor. Here's a big power threat, Reese Hoskins. And Boog, I'd say he's due. 
in there, and it's 0-1. The 1 Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering in the dirt. And a count one and two. So now one and two to Reese. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Runner comes in from second to score, and they cut the lead. It's six to three. Well, that gets them a little closer in this one. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. JT Real Muto getting ready to hit, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bryant on second. Hoskins at first. Two out of the inning. Right-handed reliever. This one popped up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Marlins pick the finale and burn a split of this four-game series. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.